For you saw me with eternal eyes While I was yet in sin Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action you are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill, OPM, Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Sunday Ikwebu. I'm from Abia State. I located this OPM through one of our sisters. They are calling Mwafo with my wife, a brought us here. Since December last year, that's why we are located OPM. But I want to thank God for what God has done unto me. Because since years, I've been going to other churches. I've been going to other churches. Uh -huh. But God, he never answered my prayer to do that thing I want him to do. God did not answer my prayer. I've gone to so many churches. God did not answer my prayer. Then I came to OPM. Uh -huh. Because as you see me so, I have something they are calling hyena in my body, which I've gone to many several places to operate that hyena. At any time I want to operate it, I was, I wanted to, I get a job, if I want to get money to operate that hyena, my work will stop. In fact, when I, this is sister, Carrios and my wife, we come open here. I come, get, he gave me an assignment. After I collect that assignment, I collected the assignment of Resolution of my job. But Wait, I, so he has hyena. He has got so many legs. He didn't take assignment on healing, no. He take assignment on financial restoration. I mean, job favor. He take assignment on job. He didn't take assignment on hyena, on healing. Uh -huh. But God, instead of to give me a job, Father, God turned it around to heal my sickness. It's, Instead of God giving me a job, God removed the hyena. Because you need to be well to walk. Okay, what, what happened? Evening, about two months ago, let me talk it like that. I was uh, eating. When I eat finish, I said, uh, let me test this oil and the water to know whether this thing the apostle is saying will be true. Okay. The blessed water and oil. The blessed water and oil. Not Lagos 5,000. But I got 100 naira. Uh -huh. After I take this oil and water, in fact, that's a wonderful something. My belly begin to swell up. My belly begin to turn me. Even though my wife was afraid that I don't die. In fact, I tell my wife, say, I want to go to the toilet. I don't know that is the time God wants to operate me. That when I go to toilet, brothers and sisters, it was wonderful. I shit blood, complete 10 hours. But today, I have healed. God has healed me. Power! OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to testify what God has done in my life. My name is Mrs. Victoria Wafo. I'm from River State, Eleme Local Government. Last Sunday, I received a healing. Mm. Mm. Last month, when I lie down on my house, in my dream, somebody, a man, came and lie down with me. So when I wake up inside my body, 
all over my body was peeping me. I said, what is this? I begin to take the water and the oil. I rub all over my body. Last Sunday, when daddy came here and began to prophesy, he said, we should remove our shoe, keep our leg on our ground, that something is going to happen. So I removed my shoe. That same night that that person came and lied down with me, I had a swelling on my, this is my right leg. With a serious pain, I cannot wear high shoe. So last Sunday, when I removed my shoe, I keep my leg on the ground. So when daddy declared the prayer, I prayed seriously because I know what is happening to me. So after that Sunday, as I went to my house, everything is off. Both the, inside my body, I cannot hear any paper again. I cannot, before, if I want to ease myself, I will, I can, that is, I, will, I will feel somehow. But now, everything is off. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Then my second testimony, that this same Sunday, is as if that last Sunday was for me. This last Sunday, daddy declared, he said he had three days. After he said no, two days. That money is coming to you. <laughs> A money that you will not work for. <clears throat> A money that you don't even expect. <laughs> I said, I don't know where. In short, that prayer did not pray very well. Even daddy came back and said, the owner of this prayer did not even pray very well. Because I did not know where the money would come from. <laughs> I, did not, I did not even expect any of this thing. Mm -hmm. So, just after the last Sunday, Monday passed. Boom. Tuesday, by 1 p.m., my niece that followed me to the church last Sunday, I said, go and check the time. Because when she brought the money, because I did not even have any money at all, even in my own account. Mm. So when she brought that money, I begin to dance. She followed me to dance. I said, come, you remember the prophecy that daddy declared last Sunday? She said, yes. I said, come, I must go and testify about the goodness of God. I said, God, that did all this to me. I said, may his name alone be highly exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Clap for the touches. I'm leaving out uh, number two, fan road. My testimony today is, Last, uh, last month, you put uh, seven Saturdays to be pregnant. Last month, you did seven Saturdays to get pregnant. Is it last month, two months? Last two months now. Uh -huh. So I went to the uh, program, seven, six Saturday. On last Saturday, I was not there. I traveled to Oweri. So I was there. I called my husband in the phone that I'm not seeing my period again. No. So my husband said that... I don't miss my period. I don't miss my motto. <laughs> eh? So my husband told me that man of God pro professed last Sunday that there is a man here, your wife travel, and your wife will call you on the phone that is pregnant. Who the matter prophecy? In the program. <laughs> she kept, you know, we did seven Saturdays to get pregnant. The first Saturday, second Saturday, third Saturday, fourth Saturday, fifth Saturday, sixth Saturday. She traveled. She didn't come for the seventh Saturday. On the seventh Saturday, there was a prophet. There's some, there's a brother here. Your wife is not here. Your wife will call you on the phone that she's pregnant. Suddenly, she called the husband that she's pregnant. Say, so, eh? Now I'm pregnant. Six weeks and one day pregnant. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Sit down. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. The last one I testified was when my husband bought me a baby jeep. So after the testimony, daddy was, I now nailed down here. Daddy now, and I told daddy that I want a foot of the womb. <laughs> daddy now prophesied, I said I should go, that I've received the fruit of the womb. So after two weeks after the prayer, that was last month, I went to the doctor and the doctor was confirmed that I'm pregnant. So I want to give God. Give Jesus a wonderful clap of it. That is why it's always good to thank God for what he has done. She testified that the old man bought her a car. 
said, okay, need that. She said she need food at the home. I said, you need food at the home? Two weeks. Or do you mean? Give Jesus a clap of him. Need that. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Hi, my name is Acharity Chidozi. I live at number six, don't close or as a butter court. I'm here to testify to the glory of God, what God has been doing in my life and in the life of my family. Last month, I stood on this great altar to testify what God did for us by dedicating two plots of land my husband bought. Two plots of land! She dedicated it last time. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Eh? And today again, to the glory of God, I'm here to dedicate another plot of hand, land my husband bought. Clap for Dr. Jesus. And also, I am here to worship this God of OPM, to thank him for what he has done in my life. When we did the seven Saturday to get pregnant last year, eh? I told God, if you bless me with the fruit of the womb, I'm going to decorate your altar. It that will. is, I was giving God condition. On the Saturday, the program started. I brought these flowers at the altar. I said, Dr. Jesus, as I have beautified your and altar. Before, she gave God condition that, God, if you bless me with fruit of the womb, I will decorate your altar. But this time, she changed the condition. No, I cannot be waiting for God to first bless me. Let me challenge God. Now she decided to decorate the altar first. Uh -huh. So after I challenged God. After she challenged God. Uh -huh. Me and my husband who participated very well in the program. After everything, last month, I called daddy. I said, daddy, I have some negative reports from the doctor. Daddy said, bring it. So I she said she have a negative doctor's report. I said, forget it. Forget the doctor's report. Uh -huh. When I brought the results last month, uh -huh. Daddy lifted it up and prayed and said, Go and come back with your testimony. Go and come back with the testimony. And today, to the glory of God, I am pregnant. Any negative report against you today shall be nullified in the name of Jesus. When she told me she had the next, I said, Bring it. She brought it. I presented it to God. I said, God, you are the highest doctor on the land. Cancel this negative doctor's report. And God canceled it. Need that. Okay, this is the doctor's report. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Now, where is the, the land? Clap for Dr. Jesus. It doesn't take God a year to change your life. It takes God a second to change your life. I don't care how people are looking at you now. I don't care the shame you are facing. If I be a man of God, your situation must change. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration, healing, deliverance, Testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill, OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Rosalind Obodi. I'm from Cross River State, but I live at number 11 A State Road, Woji. This is my daughter. Her name is Glory Paul. I gave birth to her since 1999, November. Since the day I gave birth to her, we have no peace because of stomach pain. Mm. She will always cry. Sometimes I even get angry. I say she is pretending. But because of the way it will be tormenting her, we will not sleep. She will not eat. There are some things when she eats it, we will not sleep. So we learn how to chase food in the house.
so that she would not have problem. We went to doctor. Doctor said we have to operate her. That it is novel, inner novel. Oh, doctor said they have to operate her. Yes. So when, right from when she was small, stomach pain, after a year, after a year. So doctor said they have to operate. They laugh. <laughs> but in June, after she finished her YA, uh -huh. I told my mother that it's time for her to stay with me. So I brought her to Port Harcourt. That June, we came to OPM. I told her that she's not small. She's going to take assignment. So we took assignment on something must happen. Bam! Something must may, Something must happen. Eh? We bought water and oil. I bought oil and oil, water. I plead the blood of Jesus seven times. I gave to her. Since that duty today that we are standing here, we have been sleeping without problem. No more stomach pain, no doctor, no tablet. That is why we have come here to thank the God. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In fact, I'm the most happiest person today because it has not been easy on me right from when I was small. Right from when I knew that my name is Glory. I, re I now consider it that my name is Tomor Pain. Because summertimes I stop going to school. I can stay at home for months without going to school due to Tomor Pain. Sometimes when they are eating, I feel maybe it's because of those foods. I will keep myself hungry and take snacks in order to stop the pains. It was not easy on me. I grew up with my grandmother. Sometimes she would also join me to cry. She took me to different places, different hospitals and pharmacies, up to the point that Jelocene, G tablets, and Boscopan became my sweets. Even when oh, I. Did it. <laughs> Bro. Bosco pan and G tablet became a sweet to me because even when I go to school, I must make sure I go with it inside my school bag. During break period or when I feel the pain, I'll just take it and start chewing it in order to subside the pain. But all that was to no avail. Not until when I came to Portacourt, June 23rd, June 2015. And I came during Dr. Jesus' night vigil on Friday. Started from that time up to date. There was nothing like two more pain. Praise the Lord. Kneel down. God is here. Tell about God is here. Opia. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Tamuna Emenabo Maswell. I from Edo, in Asaitoro local Govern River State. My testimony goes, I was afflicted in sickness since 2003. Was 2003? Died. That is from now, is how many years? 13 years. Eh? 13. 12 years. Yes. Uh -huh. Was diabetes sickness. Eh? Diabetes. Diabetes. Okay, diabetes. Diabetes. Okay. Uh -huh. So therefore... I was suffer a lot. I have suffered a lot. Oh, uh -huh. to sources, to sources, and hospital to hospital. There's no way. There's no way. Now I come located OPM for my TV. She located up, he located OPM on the television. Those contribute to the OPM TV. God! I see OPM TV. Eh? Then I make my mind to come the church. I come the church July on the 28th. I come to OPM. Now, he has been suffering diabetes for 12 years. Now he came to OPM July. How many months ago? Three months ago. Uh huh. I take assignment of that to 28th of uh, 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 July. July. Uh -huh. 
when I take the assignment, that day, daddy was talking about the people. She will be patient. And that day I was, I was stay till up till five o'clock. There's no way. I say, well, I from, I came from uh, all the way of uh, Omok. So I'm checking the time, nowhere to sleep for this portai court. So I'm checking the time, I say, ha, how can I will stay all till six o'clock? Where well, I will see transport to go. So I was thinking, I said, well, I will go and come back and next time. But my mind tell me that, so what I say, come, try to stay and see. Still the... try to stay, try to stay. Don't go and come, try to stay. Eh? So I decide, I say, well, if there is no way to go to back to Omok, I will sleep inside the shorts if they will accept me. That's why I decide. So the, after everything, the man of God don't start to give the assignment. Give me the assignment. I went to Om. I started the assignment on Monday. Mm -hmm. As I started the assignment on mercy prayer. After the mercy prayer, everybody knows that any person who take this die business sickness before, she will know that they suffer that I suffer. Every day I'm drinking three times tablet in the day. Every day from 2003 all to these days. So that problem has taken the mercy prayer. That day I made my mind say I will not take the tablet again to let me see what has happened. From the mercy uh, prayer, I will not take the tablet again. Then I, I started to do the midnight prayer. I, my brothers, before I know, the tablet I will not take. Oh, my, 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 my body is already uh, cured. Clap for that, Jesus. So how do you know your body has cured? Because if I don't take the tablet a day, I wanted to collapse. The day when I come to this place, before I sit down there, almost four to five times I'm going to urinate. So from that day, I stopped to take the tablet. There's nothing worrying me because of the fasting. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Every time you need, every time you need, every time you need. But since he did the mercy prayer till date, since July till now, how many months? Three months. No unit, no nothing. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Now, for investigation, where do you stay? I stay in number 31, Omokaro, in Omok. Number one? Number 31, Omokaro, in Omok. Omokaro. So those watching on TV can go and investigate. It is not Sokoto, it is not Sambisa Forest. Neither. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Sandra Onyechi Umezurike. I live at number 67 Moha Street, Bokri. I want to thank Dr. Jesus for healing me of a growth I had since the day I was born. Wait, the growth you had since the day you were born? Yes, sir. Since your mother gave back to you? Yes. And it's not just a grotto, it's always fresh. Like, even the I located OPM, it was there. It's it was, it's fresh? Yes, sir. Always fresh? Yes. I applied so many things on it. They would tell me, pour this one. I would go to a chemist hospital to say, put this one, put that one. Yet, it doesn't go. It's, it's, instead of drying up, it will go more fresh and fresh every day. So I even got tired. I said I will not pour anything again. I had to leave it. Because of this growth, I don't make my hair because... I used to be ashamed. Each time people look at me, ah, what happened to you? What is this? Like, it's just so irritating. I said, God, what kind of problem is this? And I came. I came to OPM. I didn't even come because of that one. I came for something else. But I came for something else. I have decided to live with this problem on my head. I didn't come for this. But what happened? Eh? So I came on the August 23rd. This, this year? Yes, sir. How many months ago? Two months ago. Uh -huh. And I bought the Dr. Jesus oil. 
When I got home after the first week of my midnight prayer concerning what I came for, so I remember that a brother here gave testimony that his manhood was rotting and he poured the oil and it disappeared. I said, God of opium. A brother gave a testimony here that his manhood was rotting. Oh, he carried oil. It didn't dried up. Power. Say power. So she had it and she decided to. And I said, this God is able to do my own. And I poured the oil. The first day, second and third day, I poured that oil. I had a severe headache. It was as if my head wanted to blow up. I said, ah, which one is this one again? I stayed after. I poured the oil for throughout the week. And I noticed that the growth began to go down. And it was dried. See, it dried up. Even my mom, she was surprised. She's supposed to be here, but she couldn't make it. She said, this church that made this thing to happen. Now she will come. So, where, is the growth? where was the growth on your head? This part of my head. Can you open it? Daddy, I have the picture on my phone. Okay. Jesus. Is it this? No. Okay, this. Yes. Now, can you open your head? Let's see how you did now. We don't see how you did before. From this to this, give Jesus a clap of ring. Tell your neighbor God is here. And how much did you pay me for this, for this miracle? I did not pay anything, nothing at all. Any church you go to, pastor say pay money for deliverance. That pastor is Onyoshi Ambroba. There's no one like you. There's no one like you in our VN. Glory be to God. <laughs> you just watch the testimonies of people. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Christ, you are missing a lot. Kneel down wherever you are. You want to surrender your life to Christ? It's easy. It's simple. Just kneel down. Let me pray with you. They repeat this after me. Father Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I have done terrible things against you. Forgive me my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. And transfer it to the book of life. I promise. Starting from today. I will never go back to my old ways again. In Jesus name. It's so simple. Just lay on your chest. Let me pray with you. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Savior. Lord, if my people that are called by my name. Shall humble themselves and pray. And seek my face. And turn it for their ways. They will lie from heaven and have forgiven us. He said, Heal the land. Heal the land of children today. Cleanse them. Wash them. Let them wet on us know. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It's, it's done. If you're sick or you need breakthrough, just lay hand on your te television screen. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by your anointing upon my life, I speak unto every affliction, every barrenness, every sickness. I cause right now to die in the name of Jesus. Leave this body. For this body is the temple of God in the name of Jesus. You, frustration, disappointment, eh, eh, poverty, right now, I command you in the name of Jesus to vacate this life now, to release the destiny now in the name of Jesus. Revelations, so many things will begin to happen in your life. But I also, I'm also inviting you to come and see me. It's very easy. You don't need to pay money to see me. You don't need to, there's no logistics. Just come. To the church, you see the address on the screen, or you call me on my phone. I give an appointment. You come and you meet me. I'll give you assignment. Once I give you that assignment, you do it very well. Your story must change in the name of Jesus. God loves you. Bye bye. Lord, I need you. In my life, Lord, I need you. In my life, Lord, I need you. In my life today.